Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Maloof of Eyes and Faces in Sydney and welcome to my surgical video log on watery eye. Patients often ask, referrers ask, what's watery eye? Why does it happen? I hope to explain that to you in this surgical video log. Tears are made up of both fluid and a sticky mucus. They come from the corner, outer corner of the eye, travel across the eye to the inner corner. And this happens every time we blink, there's a pumping mechanism. It pumps the tears from the outer to the inner. Once they get there, they travel down a bony channel all the way down the side of the nose and then drain into the nose. You can see this bony channel very easily when you look at a skull. There's the channel right there. If there is a blockage in this bony channel, there'll be a buildup of these tears and that's watery eye. People complain of all sorts of things. Wateriness, stickiness, recurrent infections, infections at the side of the eye, difficulty reading, difficulty driving, water spills over onto their glasses. People comment, why are you crying? They go out to play golf or go for a walk in the morning, tears stream onto their face. It can pour from the inner part of the eye, from the middle or even from the outer part of the eye. These are all symptoms of watery eye usually from a blockage of the tear drain. Some doctors tell patients, put up with it, a watery eye is better than a dry eye. But that's very old, stereotypical comments that have no place in modern surgery. Watery eye commonly occurs from a blockage in the tear drain. And if this is present, dacryocystorhinostomy surgery will fix it. Have a look at my surgical video logs on dacryocystorhinostomy. I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf. I hope that I've been able to explain to you watery eye Thanks for watching.